Hi all, um, I am not here, um, but I am here. I'm still in New Jersey and I'm about to get on a plane to go to Minnesota and I think I'm crazy to go that direction. Um, so I wanted to go over the problem on last week's quiz that was a challenge problem that um, was not uh, fully, I don't think anyone got it completely. Some people, some one person had the answer but didn't actually put the um, proof of why it was the answer. But um, so let me go through it because it's a great example um, and it's a great question. Um, and uh, Ryan had asked this question uh, right in my office a little bit before we, we met. So the problem was to provide an example of a normal subgroup of a group that that subgroup is not abelian. So normal but not abelian. So in SN, we have the group of uh, permutations of n elements, and we have a subgroup of just even permutations. So just to remind you what an even permutation is, um, it's even if it can be expressed as a product of an even number of transpositions. So just I want to remind you, because we haven't spent a lot of time on this, um, what that looks like. Um, for example, if we have 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 4, 3 goes to 5, 4 goes to 2, and 5 goes to 1. I can write this as the transposition 1, 3, 5 because that's a cycle by itself. And then I can write this, uh, the 2 and the 4, as a, uh, a cycle by itself. So sigma can be written in as a composition of two cycles. Those two cycles can be split up into pairs. And um, every every cycle can be put into a pairs like so. So I can rewrite this as 1, 5, the cycle 1, 5 composed with the cycle 1, 3 composed with the cycle 2, 4. Notice that the cycles overlap numbers. So they're not disjoint cycles as I have here. Now um, what I have here is a have, I have three cycles of pairs. So we say that this is not even because I don't have an e even number of um, pairs e and transpositions with even uh, an equal number, just two terms in them. On the other hand, if I had come up with four here, it would have been even. So there's a theorem that says that you're guaranteed that there's not a unique way to do this um, cut up that I did here with one five um, composed with one three composed with two four, but even though I this is not unique. Whatever answer I get, once it's odd, it's always odd. And once it's even, it's always even. So hopefully that's clear. Um, you can go back to the permutation section freely to look up these theorems. But I wanted to show you a concrete example so you can see what I mean by even or odd. So AN is the subgroup of all even permutations. Those are ones, just like the example before, where I get to this stage right here and I can break them up into an even number of cycles, um, composition of cycles, where they are all pair, uh, two pairs. So AN is, to prove AN is normal, AN is a subgroup that's proved in your book. But to prove AN is normal, you could apply a theorem that says that any subgroup with index 2 um, and just to remind you, the index of a subgroup is uh, the R in Lagrange's theorem where I proved um, the proof of Lagrange's theorem. It's the number of copies of cosets that union up to be G. Um, you, can, you can apply a theorem that says whenever you have a subgroup with index 2, that subgroup is going to be automatically normal. Or you can be a little slippery and use a homomorphism to prove this. Uh, the homomorphism that I'm going to suggest is take phi to be the um, the homomorphism that takes Sn into S2, defined by phi of any um, permutation is equal to 0 if sigma is an even permutation, and 1 if sigma is an odd permutation. Phi is a homomorphism. You can prove this. And I intend to ask something like this on the exam. There are very simple proofs. But phi of sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 is 0 if the sigma 1 and sigma 2 are even, or if the sigma 1 is odd and the sigma 2 is odd. There's no vice versa. I don't know why I said vice versa. Um, so when they're both even or they're both odd, the phi, the composition will be even, and therefore phi of that comp um, sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 will be 0. Um, just to show you that this is true, 
phi of sigma 1 is 0, and phi of sigma 2 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, so it works. Phi of sigma 1 composed of sigma 2 is going to be an even inside, um, so we get, uh, so it's 0, but um, it also, in the other case, phi of sigma 1 comp uh, plus phi of sigma 2 is 1 plus 1, which is 0 in Z2, and therefore in this case as well, when they're both odd, we get phi of sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 is equal to phi of sigma 1 plus phi of sigma 2. By the way, if sigma 1 and sigma 2 are both odd, their composition is even. So that's where um, the left side of that equation is being verified. So um, I get, I have in the case where sigma 1 is odd and sigma 2 is even, phi of sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 is going to be an odd permutation, so therefore phi of sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 is equal to 1. So to verify the second portion that I actually have the homomorphism property preserved, that um, 5 sigma 1 plus 5 sigma 2 is equal to 1, well that turns out that if one of them's even and one of them's odd, then that sum will be 1 plus 0, which is 1. So in this case, they are again equal. So by brute force, I've shown that this is a homomorphism. So it's a homomorph. But by the theorem I presented for you the other day, the kernel is automatically normal by the subgroup theorem last time. And the kernel of phi turns out to be a n, which now we have is normal. So it's done. Now, how do I get that it's not abelian? A n is not abelian. Well, almost anything you try is not going to work. It's going to be an example of a non-abelian um, going to get, fail the abelian property. I took 1, 2, 3 the cycle and 1, 4, 3 the cycle and I showed that they indeed don't uh, commute. So just to let you know 1, 2, 3 composed with 1, 4, 3 you can write it in this fashion and um, so you can write it in this this manner. I guess I did it so I don't know why I signed it for homework. And 1, 2, 3 composed with 1, 4, 3 um, if I do this this out here at the bottom, I also get that um, they indeed are not equal. See those two pieces that one I do, uh, underlined are not equal. So therefore, um, one two three composed with one four three is not equal to one four three composed with one two three for any of the ans. So the an in general is not abelian. So everybody should review this. This is your video for tonight. Uh, make sure you understand it fully and hopefully I've explained it clearly enough. I thought it was an interesting problem and thank you for those of you who asked this question because it made me think or derivatives of this question made me think and I loved it.